Very few birds spend their whole lives in the exact location. Most birds relocate to find suitable food to raise a family or survive. Some of these migrations are temporary, but many birds travel across continents and seas. We witness a significant increase in bird migration throughout the spring, when species such as swifts and cuckoos arrive, and again in the fall when geese and swans return. Birds move up and down their flyways using a variety of tactics. They may use visual cues such as rivers or stars, the Earth's magnetic field, scent, and even just following other birds. Migration, however, is a genuinely incredible feat. Today, we'll look into the incredible migration of birds. We'll be discussing a lot of interesting stuff about these migratory birds, so keep on watching this video till the end. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Although short-distance migratory patterns are most likely the result of a basic desire for food, the origins of long-distance migration patterns are significantly more complicated. These birds also consider the weather, location, food availability, day duration, and other aspects. Birds who spend their winters in the tropics leave their homes and migrate north. Why make such a long journey north in the spring? One theory is that these birds' tropical ancestors spread northward from their tropical nesting locations over many generations. Because of the seasonal quantity of bug food and longer day duration, they could produce more eggs than their tropical counterparts who stayed at home. The birds continued to return to their tropical habitats when winter temperatures and diminishing food sources made a living increasingly challenging. Most North American vireos, flycatchers, tanagers, warblers, orioles, and swallows developed from tropic versions. What causes migration? The processes that initiate migratory behavior differ and are only sometimes well understood. Changes in day length, lower temperatures, changes in the food supply, and genetic predisposition may all drive migration. Those who have maintained cage birds for decades have noted that migratory species experience a time of restlessness each spring and autumn, persistently fluttering towards one side of their cage. Zuginru, which translates as migratory restlessness, was coined by German behavioral scientists to describe this habit. Various bird species, and even populations within the same species, may exhibit varying migratory patterns. How do birds find their way? Migratory birds may fly hundreds of kilometers a year, typically following the same path year after year with slight variation. First-year birds often migrate on their own for the first time. Despite never having seen it, they discover their winter home and return to where they were born the following spring. The secrets of their outstanding navigational abilities remain unknown, partly because birds navigate using a variety of senses. The sun, stars, and the Earth's magnetic field may all provide compass information to birds. They also get information from the setting sun and landmarks viewed throughout the day. There is even evidence that homing pigeons use their sense of smell. Certain birds migrate along specific routes each year, notably ducks and cranes. These routes are often linked to significant to puffer spots that supply crucial food sources for the birds' survival. Smaller birds travel over the terrain on broad fronts. Many tiny birds adopt alternative routes in spring and autumn to take advantage of seasonal variations in weather and food. Migration hazards. Taking a journey that may cover several thousand kilometers round trip is dangerous and difficult. It is an endeavor that tests the bird's physical and mental capacities. The physical strain of the trek, a lack of proper food supplies along the route, severe weather, and greater vulnerability to predators all contribute to the journey's dangers. In recent years, long-distance travelers have faced increasing danger from communication towers and big structures. Many birds are drawn to the lights of towering buildings. What are migration traps? Certain locations have an amazing ability to concentrate enormous numbers of migratory birds. These migration traps are often recognized as birdwatching destinations. This is usually due to local weather, the availability of food, or the local geography. For example, little songbirds traveling north in the spring fly right over the Gulf of Mexico, arriving on the Gulf Coast state's shores. As storms or cold fronts produce headwinds, these birds might come near exhaustion. In such instances, they seek the closest area that provides food and shelter, often live oak forests on barrier islands, 
where vast numbers of migrants might congregate in what is known as a fallout. These migrating traps have become quite famous among birders, garnering them worldwide acclaim. We hope you find this video interesting. Subscribe to learn more facts about birds and don't forget to click that bell icon below.